Hey, Kyle, congrats on the win. How, how has your mindset changed going into playoff games over the years? Do you find that with experience, you're able to keep a, a clearer mind, a, a more calm mind going into these things? I've always been able to keep a clear mind. And, you know, I think now it's just kind of uh, it's, it's, every game is going to be different. Everything's not going to be perfect. You just got to kind of go with the punches and roll with the flow of the game and roll, roll with what's given to you. Um, you know, that's what, personally, that's what I do is roll with the what's given to you. Um, play as hard as I possibly can and help the team win and help do the things that I know how to do to, to be successful for our group to be successful. What was it like seeing your boys up on the screen there for the lineup intros? Yeah, it got me going. It got me going. That's my babies. My boys, is uh, they my, they my world. So um, I kind of wanted to halfway cry, but I had to hype myself up. So that was that was awesome. And I uh, miss my babies even more now. So, um, yeah, that, that's a memory that's going to last forever. Thanks, Kyle. I'm going to go next to Eric Kareen from The Athletic. Hey, Kyle. Congrats on the win. Uh, just, just about the first uh, the first quarter pass to Siak on the full court pass was that Wentz Cunningham Vic who was it? It was me, Tom Brady, Vic, uh, all the great quarterbacks out there. That's me, you know. You know, that's, that's what we do, baby. You know, that's what we do. That's great quarterbacks. <laughs> what did you? Uh, I mean, did it feel good out of the hat? And, and sort of, what did you see there? And okay. did, you th did you think you were going to complete the pass? I guess I knew I would. You know, Pete. Pete doesn't run like he used to. <laughs> He's getting older, but um, I knew the opportunity was there. Honestly, I, I trust Pascal with the, the hands of everybody. I mean, I think he has some of the best hands in the NBA. And um, you know, they were a little bit of a second leg, but. It felt good when I threw it on my hand. And, you know, if I turned the ball over, I turned it over. But I, I trust my teammates. They're always going to make the right plays. And it kind of was a booster for us to get us going a little bit more, get Pascal a bucket, an easier bucket. And that was fun. You know, that's what we do. Thanks, Kyle. I appreciate it. Next question goes to Steve Simmons from the Toronto Sun. Yeah. you look thrilled. Go ahead, Steve. Kyle, Josh kind of touched on this already, but did you know the kids were going to be up on the scoreboard and really across Canada and the U.S.? And, and what was the reaction of the, of the rest of your teammates to seeing their guys up there doing what they were doing? No, um, you know, Phoenix did a great job of that uh, last week and it was unbelievable. And, you know, I know it touched a lot of guys' hearts, but for us, you know, it made us all kind of, and I know guys were like, holy crap, and they wanted to kind of cry, and they wanted to smile at the same time. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all, they, they got me hyped. They, they, you know, our kids are, our, our kids are a little bit crazy, as y'all can see. And, uh, you know, it kind of made me honest. I wanted to cry, tears of joy, but they got me going. And uh, it was awesome. The, that, that right there shows, you know, um, who we play for and our fans and our families and um, our friends and, you know, Pascal brother and, you know, OG's brother, Mark's kids and Freddie's kids and, you know, Coach's son and, uh, and I'm sure all the other families, hopefully they sent videos. And, uh, you know, it's just a proud moment for, for all of us. And, and the details your boys put into that, that wasn't just, I'm going to name my dad here. That was, they did the whole show. They are out of control, man. My kids are superstars, man. And, um, I can't wait to FaceTime right now. So y'all hold me up. So every other is me. So I, I got to talk to my babies. Last question is going to go to Dan Wojcicki from the LA Times. Hey, Kyle. Um, did this feel like a playoff game? You've played in 80 plus in your life. Uh, was Did this feel like a playoff game, um, considering everything that was different? Uh, it felt like a playoff game, just the intensity. Those guys, the, the Nets, those guys play extremely hard, and uh, you know that was a battle. They had a hell of a run. We know this, there's only one game. You know we understand that this is a long series. Um, you know it's only one game. You know adjusting what we made, we have to continue to play hard and watch film and get better. You know I think no matter the circumstances, whatever they are, the guys are playing extremely hard. They understand that this is you know we're gonna go home, and, and that's what we're playing for. And I think we have a opportunity to, to play against a great group of guys down there in, 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 the, in the Nets and a great coach in John Vaughn. And, you know, they got some up and coming stars in Cavs LeVert. Uh, Jared Allen is really good. Joe Harris, those guys. So it felt like a real playoff game and we're trying to lock into what they're doing and we have to be ready to make adjustments. So it felt like a playoff game.